Hello my soccer universe and welcome to part 3 of my Champions League jersey review and up until like two weeks ago this would have been a group where I wouldn't have a jersey but now yes I have the Manchester City away jersey from last season it's the second time I'm wearing it it's a real beauty I gotta say that so yep I actually like this one although I'm not so crazy about the team itself. Manchester City of course features in this group, it's the CD team, but since I go alphabetically through these it's not the first one that we look at, but it's also a team, the first one that we already have looked at if I'm talking about Atalanta, Bergamo, La Dea, had a horrible start to the Champions League campaign. Um, the home jersey, classic Atalanta look, yes I say it again, as a Milan fan looking at black and blue stripes is a little bit hard to see kind of uh, from a neutral point but I have to say I really like that they use a little tad more blue I like Bruges a tad more blue so you have the blue color which I really like I also I remember Inter once had that in the 90s that, that that's a really sharp look uh, slightly medium to thin stripes I like that the stripes are also are reflected on the sleeves um, Two things that are a little bit odd is probably that you see there's a kind of horizontal patterning to the blue stripes. This is not so crazy about. And the other one is that the crest is centered. I think the crest would look better if it falls on the left right here because it leaves here a kind of a vacuum. But other than that, it's a really nice looking jersey. I gave this nice star. We'll stick with it. Also a nice jersey, although not 100% is the away jersey white and then you have the blue and black blue shoulders and the black band and then you have just the um, uh, goddess Atalanta uh, running which was the 80s logo so I like that touch a lot I also like that the sleeves have the uh, black and blue sleeve cuffs also on the inside the goddess running although you don't see this on the jersey uh, itself overall looks nice I just wish maybe that the blue was a little bit more prominent that and there could be a little bit bleed over to the sleeves I think the sleeves look a little bit too much grafted on but overall a really smart nice looking jersey by Homa that I like and I gave this eight stars and I will stick with it the third jersey is still rumored at this stage is again features only the goddess logo it's just a mess color wise if this is really the jersey it's not one that i'm looking forward to i mean a brown headed pattern on there i do like the uh blue and black stripe uh the color and so on that looks nice i even think the headed pattern saves it a little bit but overall it's messy and for that reason i only gave it three stars should this really come uh, out and I will stick with the three stars here. It's not yet in the official store, gotta say. Then we come to a fast start in this group, Dinamo Zagreb, which also features three jerseys. This one here uh, is probably mostly used in the league and I actually have to say I it's a classic Dinamo jersey. It's blue. I like the pinstriping. I like the Adidas. Why is not the pinstriping on the sleeves? That's the only thing. Other than that, really nice looking looking jersey, I have to say. Even the sponsor, um, although it's two lines, it actually fits nicely in there. There's nothing offensive uh, in there. It's a good look. Dynamo fans, should there be maybe a little bit more red? Maybe, I don't know. I, 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 I think it look, looks really cool. Um, and I'll give this nine stars. I really like this one. Uh, the away jersey is something that I've seen Dynamo do for a long time. It's basically the previous template, just get rid of the pinstripes um, and gives it a neon with uh, black. And then you have a full color crest, which kind of gets a little, little, little bit lost on there. As an away jersey, I think it works. And for that reason, I'm not gonna go too far, but I think it's only five stars stars could even be four but I think uh, I'm gonna see five and then the jersey that you've been wearing in the Champions League and that doesn't make much sense to me uh, it's again blue with the darker navy sleeves and then uh, you take also the neon that to me is kind of all right but um, again it's this template that can look very messy and it does here although it's the two-tone blue but then you have a third blue here the navy mm -hmm, but what really bugs me really bugs me is the crest monochromatic that in itself is not that bad but then the checkered pattern looks like a grid pattern here you lose everything creation in that one 
that is what I don't like about this one. Um, I'm also the navy, no, not the navy, the navy is always the, the neon yellow is also not that great. Um, nah, whenever I look at it, it doesn't look like a Dynamo jersey to me. And especially the crests and all oh, of this. Nah, three stars. Then we go to the seeded team in this uh, group, the English champions, Manchester City, who, if you watch my Premier League jersey, released a wonderful uh, jersey to celebrate the 125 years. Now Puma. Yes, it's your light blue jersey. It has some purple, and that's where it stops for me. I don't understand the purple. I really do not. And I think it, the jersey would look much better if it was like a navy or white or or, or whatever. I also this the form start this time. I mean, Puma, if you have the jerseys in front of you, this is really just a plastic transfer over. So that I really don't don't like. So yeah, uh, it doesn't look bad, but it's still not the perfect jersey and for that reason, six stars on that one. Um, the away jersey, I a little bit slammed when I was doing my initial review. Now I understand a little bit better. It is a reference to the locally mad Chester culture, especially the, uh, the club that they had there. And I, I'm not into that scene, so I'm sorry. I'm, said it already in another video um, as a hard rock heavy metal guy <laughs> this completely passed me by so um, it doesn't beat this jersey in my opinion this one looks better but I do like the black I do like I, I the more I see the more I like this jersey I have to I have I have to say I do like this reference to local culture especially with the colors of pink and light blue and I, why but the only thing is why is it only one side the uh, the yellow black pattern that's the only thing that I am a little bit uh, not so much liking but that jersey actually looks good on the field and it's not a bad jersey. It's absolutely not a bad jersey. I have to say, Manchester City has been getting the jerseys right, mostly, especially away jerseys. Especially away jerseys. I have to repeat myself. Uh, it's rarely been one that I didn't like. So, and for that reason, I want to raise the grade here, and I'm going to go this with eight stars, mainly because of the asymmetry, and maybe that's a little bit too colorful, but it's really not a bad jersey. Really not. Uh, so, eight stars this is. And I'm also going to go a little bit softer on the third jersey, although I still don't quite like it. The um, neon going into this pinkishy, orangey stuff, then the neon, then the uh, navy on there, uh, the colors don't make it. And uh, it reminds me of this one Barcelona jersey, which I think was inverted, it was orange going into um, uh, yellow, I think this was the 12, 13 Barcelona away jersey, which I really didn't like. Um, I gave this two stars. I will raise it to three because as an away third jersey, I think it does make more sense. It connects also with the um, away jersey. It doesn't connect at all with the home jersey, but it's still not a great jersey. So for me, that's why only three stars. And now to a team in Shakhtar, where I always have trouble with the jerseys. I like orange, but almost always the way Shakhtar does it, it doesn't look good to me. Uh, it's mainly because orange and black. This time they go, uh, go away from the orange and black stripes and just release an orange jersey with black accents and they go with a half and half look. And I have to say it looks quite smart. I wish they would go a little bit more the Galatasaray way with having also alternating sleeves. I also wish that the center line doesn't do what it does here. That looks absolutely weird to me. Uh, why do you need to do this on a half and half jersey? Uh, it's less of a clean look. Uh, however, the two-tone orange I think is one of the smartest looks that Schachter has been sporting. And then with black pants, that looks actually much better. Don't like the sponsor on there because it has nothing to do with the colors. If that party match was in one of the orange tones, hmm, but in yellow, nope, doesn't work well. But I think the look overall is a much smarter one and I will give 
Schachter for once a little bit of a better grade. Um, a sponsor is a real eyesore on there, I have to say. Let's say five because they really tried to do something different. And I will not be leaning because they are recycling this ugly away jersey from last season. They are going to use this again this season. This one is an eyesore. And then the sponsor on there doesn't make it in any way bad. It actually makes it worse. I don't like this pattern by Nike at all. Uh, Schachter actually used this smartly on their last year's um, home jersey where they had this gradient striping. They used this on the black strap with a little bit of blue. That was actually quite smart. But the way Frankfurt uses it, the way Schachter uses it here, it's not a good look at all. And for that reason... <sighs> Yeah, I hate it so much that I'm gonna give this uh, one or two. I haven't looked what I gave it, but I'm gonna give this one star. It's just not a good jersey. I don't like the colors. Galatasaray uses similar, but the looks it's just too messy and the sponsor oh, doesn't work. Well, let me know what you think about the jerseys that I talked about here. Uh, and let me know in the comments below whether you agree and disagree with me. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos or playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel, as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.